DBZ Car Strategy here with another local match. It's going to be me fighting Justin. This is our round two of the blue versus orange retribution matchup. I assure you, we're going to be in for an interesting time. Okay, so he's. And it looks like good old Justin's won the, uh, the roll, and he's going to go ahead and go first. He's got some really good looking stuff. The catches he probably couldn't necessarily hold on to the power stage is necessary. He doesn't know that yet. So he's talking about how, how uh, dangerous a hand he might have, potentially be able to explode off level level one. He uses Goku's when entering combat effect. He draws an additional card. It is a drill, unfortunately. And me, I draw my three. He fires off an orange rage. Yes, I prevented all the blue rest. Blue rest, of course, is going to prevent all the damage. It places off at the bottom of the life deck. Yeah, I fire off a blue neck beam. And he hits a... Uh, it's just for four life cards. He wicks off a little damage. If he levels up at the end of this combat, he will drop a level, so I've already preemptively slowed him down a bit. Okay, he's going to go ahead and throw a three life card. Wow. Uh, physical does a very small amount of damage. I wick it off with one card. Okay, he's going to go ahead and fire off his other phys or energy attack, the eruption, and he's going to go ahead and level. He's going to hit level two. Uh, I end up passing, because uh, I do have another deleveler in my hand. He uses Goku's power, and he's going to go ahead and fire off. Uh, most likely going to use that orange range. He just pulled with Goku's level 2 power. I'm going to go ahead and mastery, stop it. Okay, and I make him uh, stop it with, of course, protect his ability to go ahead and lower the, uh, the uh, reduce his anger. So he raises his anger, and he gets to go ahead and pull out his style drill, since he has indeed changed levels this combat. It's going to be pretty sweet. And the thing is, I think he already has Crying Drill in his hand, so there's not much to, to search out at this point. Checker Drill won't do him any good. It'll just get him a dead card that he can't uh, use and not to drop at the end of combat. So he could pull out one of the blocking drills, I suppose. That's probably the, the only thing he could do. <laughs> Justin has lots of options. Does that de-levels me? Does the drill shuffle? No, it just describes. Oh, at the end of combat, I already hit him with Neck Beam. He leveled to level 2. The is going back to level one. He used the mastery. He's going to search. I'm going to double check this ruling. We'll get I don't know the orange retribution mastery's exact wording on deleveling. And that was the thing that I had to be reminded of. That's whenever he changes levels. It's not an advance. Dang. So uh, Orange Retribution's, uh, like we said, made sure to cover all the angles with that. So deleveling doesn't necessarily cost you your drills in the same way. <laughs> yeah, we're probably realizing that the Mastery presented very few limitations. He's going to go ahead and pull out Captivity Drill, which is a very wise drill to go ahead and pull out early game. He knows since it's going to go back in. And this is where he's going to go ahead and he's going to end his turn most likely because he is out of actions. Combat ends, he de-levels, and of course his drill is going to shuffle back in. So he knew, you know, he might as well, you know, pull it out just to put it back in. Okay, it goes over to me. It's my first turn. Uh, he, like I said, Blue Neck Beam has done its thing, finally drawing the appropriate level, number of de-levelers. Uh, I don't really have anything here worth working with, worth going into combat for. I hope I'm not silly enough to try to push my luck on this no hand. It's all neat stuff, don't get me wrong. The Rebirth is really meant to pair well with level 1 Cooler's uh, ability for the discard Rejuve. So you get two cards out of it for your trouble on the Rejuvenation. I'm going to go ahead and cut Justin's after he resolve the drills effect or excuse me the mastery's effect on the drills power up i have a lot of cards in my hand to you know to do some stuff but i don't think i have it set up quite well enough to make this an easier strategy i might have goofed it up okay. pass rejuvenate and i leave uh cooler's rebirth i think in the long run that probably wasn't a good idea you know leaving cooler's rebirth out there Okay, and uh, he's going to put Crying Drill, which he's had in his hand for a bit. He's going to probably keep Vegeta in his hand and probably rejuvenate uh, Shoulder Slam. 
he's probably not going to need Focus Assault during this combat or during our, our little match. Okay, he's going to pass Rejuvenate Shoulder Slam, leave uh, Focus Assault, end his turn, goes back over to me. I have an interesting series of items in my hand. I basically can attack and defend quite a bit. I can't probably level off of this with any sort of consistency. I don't really. Okay, I declare combat, powering up. Really did it slightly out of order. Justin draws an extra card because the Goku's level one. One of those, unfortunately, is a, actually two of those are dead, not dead cards, but they were not going to do much during this one. Okay, lowers anger one level with blue rejection. Yeah. Gonna stop it with Vegeta's effect, and I don't think I paid my power stages for that. I'm looking at, at his power, his power stages for coolers, and I don't think I paid for that. Okay, he's gonna use Crying Drill, raise his anger one level. Okay, I do pass. Basically, I'm trying to bait him out, trying to see what he's got left in his hand. Okay, he's gonna Goku search. Uh, this this particular card you're probably seeing from our other battles is does. Does the work. He's going to go ahead and search his deck for a, you know, a certain types of cards, drills, allies, etc. He's going to place them into play, and he's going to get to gain some stages and rejuvenate a card. Pretty much no downside. Okay. He got to power up a wee bit from the power stage game of 7 to 10. He's going to go ahead and finish shuffling his deck. Okay, he's rejuvenated two cards from his discard pile, and now all the effects of Goku Search are completed. And he goes back over to me. I have only blocks in my hand, so there's not much to work with. Basically, the best thing in the world to do right now is just to sit him out, keep, hold on to all my blocks, and let him do his thing. I, 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 I need your expertise on this. Uh, John, I, I got a thing to show my apologies. We had to stop and actually ask a bit of a question. I'm less experienced with blues might be Minute. <laughs> I think what I'm checking is if I get to pull it with a discard and a banish, and the answer is unfortunately no. I don't. I, I get everything from the card's benefit except for the anger lowering part. So here's the thing: I would like to use this card with Cooler's power. As I understand it, this card gets discarded, and then it isn't a banish instead. It just says banish it. It doesn't, it doesn't actually interrupt that effect. So I would pull for Cooler's power. And I've asked all this question for. Oh, it doesn't even work. It's a physical combat card. Yeah, that's how much I remembered the, some of the exact particulars at the time I ran this video. And I goofed it up. Didn't even need to ask uh, poor John about that one. I passed. I could have passed immediately and kept this game going at a reasonable pace. It's very silly. Okay, he's going to throw an orange power point. Okay, yeah, I get to stop it with Narrow Escape, get to place two energy combat cards atop my life deck. Worked out real nice. I pass again. Let's get through another power point. And of course, Blue Rest. Oh. Oh, I, I don't get the anger lowering. See, I, I had to ask because I didn't want to cheat Justin out of it. I wasn't absolutely certain on this one. Yeah. So basically, I don't get the anger lowering, but I do get to. But here's the thing. This is all another moot point. I can just stop his attack, use the card's printed immediate effect, and it cause me to lose the anger. You're discarding it, but banishing it for this effect. Now when this... Oh, and it's not there. That's right. I was going to say, it resolves the earlier step. These are things I don't think I ever got. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I will just one sentence. I just stopped it with itself. I really sure came to that conclusion quite a bit sooner. <laughs> and I believe this combat is over, aside from him possibly using the mastery. There it is. Okay, raise anger two levels with the mastery's effect. Nothing else to do. Okay, combat ends, and it goes back over uh, to Justin. Justin gets to begin his turn. He's going to get some decent stuff. He's got a drill in his hand to drop. Okay, he's going to place... Uh, not check the three. He's going to trace... 
Steady drill into play. Check up drill. He's going to go ahead and pass and rejuvenate. Or, oh, yeah, rejuvenate energy absorption. He goes back over to me. I got some good looking stuff there. It would be funny. I got a pair of neck beams to start shooting him in the mug. humor to me in my life. You know the, the funny thing? Yeah. It took three of those in one combat to actually hit Angelo. What? We're talking about an Angelo match Andrew and John had where he hit him with three neck beams in one combat and only one actually connected. See, uh, it would be a good idea to declare combat. I could throw away Kuvler's Rebirth to go ahead and yank out a, you know, uh, draw a card, rejuvenate two. It would be not bad at all. The only catch is it doesn't necessarily. Because he was level three Yamchus, no prevention. Like, no, you're going down, I don't necessarily have an extraordinary winning hand in my hand, but I could get away with it. He's got a heck of an army of drills out there, though. Usually, Orange Retribution is much too mobile, too too swift to ever have a pile up of drills like that. I'll go into first combat. Yeah, I do end up declaring combat, and I have lots of tools. And he's drawn fairly you know, some unusable cards. Yeah, it's funny. He'll have the card advantage, advantage most of the rounds in this thing. Uh, you with him. Energy combat, card from your hand to draw a card. If you do destroy top card, you life back. Okay, cooler power, destroy the top card, discard, rejuvenate, cooler's rebirth automatically, and gets discarded for a card effect, rejuvenate the card that was underneath it. That is my action. Okay, he goes back over to Justin. Justin has good stuff. He's got, he can mastery his way up at this point, which he's probably going to do. Yep, crying drill, so he doesn't waste that extra anger. And he's going to go ahead and hit. Oh, he, oh, he, Crying. Oh, I keep forgetting he has to hit six anger to transform. Whoops. Okay, and he uses Android Rising Punch to go ahead and level, which is pretty wise of him to try to hold on to. Okay, and he's going to go ahead and shuffle. All of his drills in, he's going to be, excuse me, level two Goku. E to D physical. I take six power stage and one life. The life coming, of course, from level two Goku's continuous power to add a little bit extra damage. Okay, and unfortunately, I did take a hit from, uh, dropped out one of my lifting drills, which really stinks. And yeah, Aqua Mastery out of the way for no good reason. And I have very few power stages to make this worth anything. Fire off a blue neck beam. Ooh, he does end up stopping it. I was so debating whether to do it or not. Wow, Justin's a madman. He he ventured the idea of taking that hit just cause. Hey, okay, Goku powers and pulls up orange stare down. Okay, I used up all my power stages, folks. I will put everything into these attacks. And I believe Justin is out of it. Three life cards. He has the minus on Goku's level two, which <laughs> Fierce attack is out of the game. The better those are gone, the better. He's going to go ahead and mastery, use his two, uh, get his two anger, and he's going to go ahead and pull a card from, or a drill from his his life deck. Okay, check up drill, and he's going to go ahead and yank out a uh, another attack, which I, I don't remember if I was looking right. I don't know if I'm out of out of attack cards. It might be silly of him. He might basically end up with an extra card for no good reason. He grabs orange energy absorption as the block for the effect of checkup drill reaching or entering in combat. So I don't know where I've, I sit on the fence. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on this one about the, what may happen to drills in the future. That they may become just like main personality powers and only get one shot per combat. You know, if they re-enter play, nothing happens. Okay, he's going to fire off an orange eruption. Raises anger two levels. He's at five lifeguards. Oh, excuse me, he's at four anger. Okay, I take the hit. Wicked off with very little in terms of endurance. Okay, 
looks like it. Oh, yes, I take a power stage. And a cooler supernova fell out of my deck, assuring that the next, the coming combats are going to be interesting. Yeah, he's got a couple of different cards. He's got orange stare down. Okay, so I end up discarding the physical block, the physical combat card to stop an energy attack with the mastery. Lowers anger one level. I passed again. He fires off critical launcher. Okay, so I stopped it all with uh, orange or prevented all the damage. With orange launcher, no hit effects, so no harm, no foul. And combat ends. And he has that block. Remember, I told you the heat. There's no way he could have known. Okay, he's going to go ahead and resolve his end of combat effects. Oh, so I did draw him into combat. Forgot to adjust the active player. You guys probably watching at home probably already figured that out. And then we figured out that I stopped. So my stuff works. It dig this. He's not going to get the benefit of checkup drill at the end of combat because I'll force him to de level. It will take place before his end of combat effects would go off. And he ends up getting it shuffled back in. Okay, and now he has no end of combat of, uh, effect to resolve except de leveling himself, going back to five above zero. Okay, the combat ends. He's going to go back over to Justin. Justin has plenty of stuff to throw into the mix. He's going to put her out and visit, visit in the past, also affectionately called living in the past. He's going to go and power up, power up Vegeta as well. He, 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 why is he going to do his pass rejuvenate? He puts charge kick to the bottom of his life deck. Okay, and he goes back over to me. And I must have got something worthwhile. <laughs> And apparently whatever it was Amuse does, maybe maybe it's something really good. Okay, I do enter combat, and I resolve my entering combat effect, and I go ahead and, and kill Visiting the Past before he has a chance to use it. He's going to go ahead and grab it, and I, I was going to say he probably gets a Goku search out of this. No? And uh, I think I forgot to initially lower his anger one level with it. Or, yep, I did. I didn't lower his anger from the immediate effect of blue defensive effect. That was really dumb. Uh, keep track of that as mistakes made during the course of this match. Okay, take take five unpreventable life cards of damage, and it hits me hard. Hey, he gets no anger, no other effects, nothing happens. I use blue reverse. It throws it as a physical attack. Oh, see, and I threw away my physical attack, and I can't stop it, and my endurance is off. And I take critical damage, supernova fell out. Yeah, I did that stuff out of order. You guys can go ahead and chastise me for not being a master blue player, or having the instincts, really, with this particular deck. Just not enough individual matches. And combat's going to go ahead and end, believe it or not. And that's going to be the end of that. Very uneventful, very little in the way of, wow. Unfortunately, poor Justin ended up with a, lot, a handful of stuff to work with. Okay, so those drills get, drills get discarded. They just become targets. Okay, he's going to put checkup drill, burning aura drill. He's going to go back in. And, of course, I threaten him and keep him at bay with the uh, supernovas doing what they do. He's going to pass the Rejuvenate Wall Breaker. It's going to go back over to me. Sadly, I have yet to draw my combo so far. I'm not sure if I did yet. Is it Blue Dominance? Is it in there? Uh, blue Positioning Drill makes a, a, an appearance. What an amazing thing it would be for it to work. Looks like I got a leveler. I got a Blue Rest in my hand. Got plenty of materials. Oh, you're such crud. <laughs> 
Okay, Blue Retaliation goes back to the bottom life deck. You think it probably would be best to hold on to the Delevelers? Kind of, but I'd rather have that Endurance waiting for me at the bottom of the life deck just to know that it's going to be there. Didn't even get to level 2 yet. Wow. Woo-wee. He's going to draw me in. He's going to draw an extra card with Goku's level 1 effect. Gonna kill the checkup drill, which is a mistake. I should have left that right where it is, because then he can always yank it back from the discard pile and make it live again. Really should have killed Burning Aura Drill. Because I'm more energy anyway. Okay, Android Rising Punch. And that would not be good. I really don't want to take this beating here. And apparently I thought it was a good idea to take that. Six stages and one life. I'm going to knock to zero with tons of energy attacks. Okay, defense effect and head knock. We're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the life deck. And then, of course, use Cooler's uh, Rebirth to go ahead and place it at the top of the life deck. Or place it off. Yeah, throw a blue head kick. It is stopped, <laughs> and, and it does a, like we said. It does what it, it does its duty. Remember that one? If it hit him, he would get to draw a card, but he has to stop it with her. So guess what? Stop the drill, and he still doesn't get the card draw. He's gonna fire off an orange rage. Not a bad idea at this point. And he would level, but he really wouldn't level if I had remembered to keep track of his anger with the immediate effect of blue defensive effect. It's one of those cards that I memorized the effect of and genuinely forgot I had that immediate effect of lowering their anger one. Okay, and I go ahead and stop his attack, orange rage, and stop it with the its own discarding effect from blue round throw. Okay, and... Yeah, I just had to remind myself to keep using the effect of blue positioning. That's where I take any card from my discard pile. Uh, any style card to place at the top of my life deck upon the, you know stopping an attack. Yeah, blue defense effect flies to the top of my life deck. Go use cooler power, get to draw a card, go through all that stuff, discard the rebirth. He's gonna Goku power, grab the bottom card of his discard pile. I fire off blue defensive effect and remind him he's not gonna get any anger for all of his troubles. Yeah, stop an attack with using the mastery, discarding the energy combat to stop a physical combat. Okay, and I put another uh, neck beam on top of my life deck. Okay, he's going to go ahead and mastery. He has changed levels, so he's going to go ahead and pull out a, a drill. He doesn't get the anger, of course, because defensive effects, floating effects, is going to keep him from getting any anger. Still gets the yank a drill out though. Got plenty of choices. Wow, burning war drill. So far, so good. Our, I'm really dragging our match out, and I hadn't even got to level two where I really see the fire off focus salt. Should be five life cards. Seven life cards with or, or a drill in play. And unfortunately, both my lifting drills are now in the discard pile. That kind of stinks. A little combo. I'm trying to get there. And combat's going to go ahead and end. If I was him, I'd probably keep the orange energy catch. That's a tad more useful. <laughs> okay, I get to put dominance out there. Probably get in a few power stages. Pass, rejuvenate. 
Blue Reverse goes to the bottom of my life deck. Combat or turn ends for me. It goes back over to Justin. I really should be changing the turn marker. Justin remembered. Good stuff. Okay, he's got Burning Aura Drill in play. With Aura Drill. Kind of funny. Okay, he declares combat. He remains level two. I'm gonna go ahead and dominance up. Remember, I get lets me advance to level two, and this is one of the reasons the game got drawn out for as long as it did. I lose MPVV, but I am now level two. And remember that one? I discard my drills upon leveling, and then I get to pull out two drills from my discard pile. In this case, I end up with just uh, um, my 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 drills in play. It drew my other blue dominance because why the heck wouldn't I get a card I couldn't use this entire combat? Yeah, you, there you go. Stop it. So I, I use head kick, draw a card, get stopped instantly. So Justin does not get to draw a card. Okay, gonna fire off an orange left burst. Since he has not changed levels, it's gonna go ahead. And, there we go. Stop a round throws effect. Okay, I'll put neck beam on top of my life deck because of positioning drill. Okay, yeah, cooler power rejuvenate the top two cards of my life deck. Throw a five five life card physical. Stop by her, which is okay. And if the thing is, if he had let me, I would have discarded my other blue dominance and then you know discarded draw a card on a hit. Okay, he's gonna throw a blue power point. Oh boy. Yeah, I just throw away blue slash, unfortunately. And I do stop with mastery. I get to lower his anger one level. Like I said, I did stop it, so I get to pull any style card from my discard pile and place the top of my life deck. I throw another neck beam on top there. Apparently, I'm very worried about that. Yeah, this time I actually remember to pay my power stages. I should fire off a blue rejection. Okay, lowers his anger one level. Stops with the energy catch. Ain't a bad idea. Uh, so this could be pretty substantial. Uh, so the ATAT -AT on Shoulder Slam is going to be two. And then he's going to have two from Orange Energy Catch, four power stages. Ow. Okay, so level two uh, cooler power, unprevented damage raises my anger. He masteries, gets to four anger. He's not done anything. Combat ends, and it goes back over to me. I have my combo in place. Things could be very interesting. I get to go ahead and power up a wee bit. I put blue dominance in play, more or less for nothing. I guess I could use it to get power stages. That's about really all it would do for me. So I'm not sure I'm holding on to it. I'm not sure of his fodder for throwing away from my physical attack, but I was knowing I'm going to punch through all of his defenses. So I'm not really sure what I was doing. That's funny. I feel like I've been going until these combats, and I haven't been keeping track of my own discard pile to see if there's any supernovas in there. Six life cards with a minus one from that Goku's level two. Yep, damage is all banished, and dig it, folks. I hit a drill, I destroyed, I banished time. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, an orange left burst. It would have been far too big attack to just take the hit. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, or, or uh, blue rest, prevent all the damage. And he's going to go ahead and rejuvenate a drill with the card's hit effect. Okay, 
So he had no valid targets, having no continuous drill to use. And then I have to remember to start lowering his anger every time he stop one of his one of my attacks. I keep forgetting to do that. Apparently, let Justin. If I prevented the damage, I prevented the damage. It isn't the same as taking it. It's not the same. Just taking damage. So if you take, even if you take one stage of damage, four more zero stages. We've had some zero stage clarity. But wait, what were you saying? Uh, yeah. It's your turn. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, okay, we're going to fire off another blue neck beam. Give me a five life card energy. Uh, four, uh, five life cards? Oh, I yeah, got four life cards. Four life cards with the Goku level three or level two minus. Hit him clean. Yeah, you guys are kind of seeing part of the gimmick here. R an early alpha version of it, but I love it. Okay, he's going to go and fire a stare down. Okay, and thankfully he banished exactly the right drill because I can always get the other one back. I had to take the damage, unfortunately. Okay, so... I did prevent the damage. I do not raise my anger. Uh oh, I'm in pretty rough shape. I'm only at uh, 20,000. Uh, we're both C's. Oh, wow. So not too bad. C on C action with the AT AT. Two stages and one life. Yeah, two stages and one life. Unprevented, raise my anger. No, I don't have two anger. That thing lowered me to zero. Mastery, level up. He's level three Goku. Sadly, I let him run away with it. I made a mistake. Let him have some anger a few times. Remember, I wasn't lowering his anger when he stopped my attacks, and all that's just silly. But he will de-level at the end of combat, so I guess it's not all bad. He's got Aura Drill at the top. He's going to go ahead and shuffle the drills in, pull out Aura Drill. Goku power. He's gonna grab shoulder slam. Ain't a bad idea. B to F. Nine life cards. Okay, and good old uh, blue defense effect comes into play. Absorbs the heck out of that damage. Shoulder slam, lowers my anger again to zero. Hope I catch it. Uh, I'm still left, so five, okay, he's going to throw an AT, AT ten, physical on me, which is going to be real brutal at this point. Really rough shape. Ten, ten stages, two life. Ten stages, two life. Okay. So what does it just make it all? That's just twelve. Twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I do take the hit. Uh, I would have been at zero anyway from the initial effect of Shoulder Slam, so either way it's fine. No, it wouldn't. Don't even... Sh shoulder Slam would have lowered it. No, I would have done nothing. <laughs> done less than nothing. Oh, shit. Yes. Oof, good old PowerPoint made its way back into this the combat. I get to take this gigantic hit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine from the PowerPoint. Damage is pretty significant. Stop it all without taking too much heavy damage. Oh, that's such a low life. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of Precise. Precise. Okay, he's going to go ahead and run away with it and try to grab a uh, crying drill. Yeah. Okay, crying drills, angers up his, uh, powers up his anger. Okay, he's going to go ahead and de-level himself. He's back to level two. So had I left that blue dominance in play, I could have dominance back up, pull my drills. It's like, not MPPB, it's an average thing. Orbs 
has just a great, like it's, we used to talk about it, it's the, the Pentagon, or they used for Pokemon stuff early on, like you, your, your HP, your, your attack, your defense, and, like it's all, everything's in MPP. It has a decent... Uh, We're just talking about our overall critiques of Orange Retribution and PPV decks. And like I said, it mostly runs for level 4. It's not really known for all that much killing. It's kind of a opportunistic fighter. Okay, Justin's going to go ahead and place... Uh, there we go. Put some power stages on his allies. He's going to pass. He's going to rejuvenate Orange uh, Energy Absorption. So I ended up with some pretty neat stuff. And I genuinely thought I couldn't use blue dominance to, to shoot back up, power up to full power stages, grab my other drill. Uh, John reminded me I can always tr attempt it. It doesn't mean necessarily it would work because I can't advance to a level I'm already on. No, why would I do that? Apparently I put my supernova back in there. Apparently I'm a doofus. Okay, and Justin's going to go ahead and put out his, his cards. He's got two drills in play. Ain't too bad. He's got uh, mildly good stuff. <laughs> so I have all the ammunition I need to take out his, uh, his drills. And then I have, of course, the ability to pull back one of my own. He's going to go ahead and pass, rejuvenate, orange guard. Yeah, we're going to have us a really interesting fight. I may not actually be able to kill you or even do anything substantial here, but this is going to be something. One of the early builds of this particular deck type that I'm working with here is I found out I basically would top out in terms of damage. I would basically would stop being able to do the damage that I want to do. Okay, so I blew, I blew Dominus up to full uh, in my Esmer entry combat effect. Lifting drill and a position drill still in play. Okay, this is really gonna hurt you. Uh, it, it might very well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I know it has an immediate so we finally caught that it has an immediate effect. I don't know. I was I was just using four. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Lower anger one level. There you go. So finally remembered lower 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 angle one level. Uh, with blue defense effect, he can no longer gain uh, anger for the remainder of combat. He grabs uh, grab charge kick with Goku's level two. I really th should throw head knock to try to break through the cooler power. Oh, so I do throw the cooler power first. Okay. It stopped with orange refocus, so sadly he gets lots of, <laughs> lots of targets. Or drill it re enters play. And uh, he stopped another attack and he didn't lower his anger. Somehow I'm forgetting all this. Orange electricity. Yeah, fires off orange electricity. Oh, and apparently I throw it, toss it for the mastery, stop it, lower his anger one level, and place a, uh, a style card, stop my life check. Life check. Place this gigantic card with gigantic in endurance on it. Not too bad. And I'm kind of out of moves here. Okay, throw on blue retaliation. Okay, so it's in the next action. So orange electricity only has that limited uh, window to prevent the damage. So I'm just going to wait him out, wait one action. I genuinely have forgotten that that's how that worked. It's only in the next action, not the next, not the next action. He's going to throw an 8 life card. Okay, man, this version of my blue deck is feeling positively primitive. So I took the hit from it. There you go, and I fire off a retaliation. Ought to be a pretty sizable hit. Seven life cards with Goku's minus. And he found almost no endurance at that last card. He found some. Yep. 
Uh, target and ally. Wise idea when he has no anger. Not too bad. He's going to fire off an orange launcher. Four life cards total with Goku's power. Okay, three and four. Not too bad. Okay, I activate Cooler's Rebirth. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these cards from my life deck. Grab it, or excuse me, banish them. Grab any two cards. I can either grab another Rebirth or I can grab a defensive effect. Okay, I stack two uh, uh, defensive effects. Put uh, Rebirth top of my life deck. Okay, so Burning Aura or, or, or Drill is going to go back to his hand for the effect of Charge Kick, having to destroy a card in order to get the Anger Raise effect. Or, excuse me, he has to hit to be able to get the effect of uh, putting the Drill back into his hand. Okay, so I take the hit, and that's that. He does the mastery for no effect. He has not changed levels. He has not gained anger. How do you guys like seeing that as a first for this particular channel of ours? That Orange Retribution did none of its effects. Okay, Ordrill re enters play. He's still got Wall Breaker. I was checking to see if I had any uh, Supernova still in my discard pile. Okay, he draws me back in. I draw some super sweet stuff. Uh, for anybody here who watches the show and also while he throws a okay to start it for the mastery I get to stop it lower his anger one level get to target a, a style card from my discard pile and place it top of my life deck okay. I throw a blue retaliation on the top for the have that plenty of endurance of course placing it there because of the positioning drill And I'm going to throw Justin at this one. It lowers his anger automatically one level. It does one life card of damage with Goku's minus. And I, I killed him, guys. Blue slash blew him up. Kinshiro style, guys. No joke. Remember that one? It destroys the top X cards of his life deck. X is his anger minus six. And I hit him with all of it. Six life cards, blow it up. Last card. Flat out, I killed him like Kinshiro from this uh, Team Four Star thing. So much damage coming my way, but the winner is Cooler.